this month, we leap out of the year of the rabbit and usher in the wood dragon. Traditionally associated with growth and abundance, there are hopeful rumblings for the global economy as the dragon emerges from its lair. Inflation and financial conditions have eased and we should see several rate cuts this year. While the risk of recession remains, expectations for this have been pushed back to 2025. Declining consumer savings, slowing credit growth, upcoming elections and the impact of the Red Sea crisis on inflation are amongst the risks that could derail these expectations. Conversations with clients in Asia reflect this sentiment as the appetite for risk has risen. On the macro front, many are now expecting a soft landing this year and for rate cuts to commence in the second half of 2024. Positive views towards equities continue to rise with a preference for developed markets. There is a strong call to increase allocation to market laggards outside of the mega cap stocks, including mid cap stocks. In Asia, valuations are undemanding, but sentiment remains cautious. Clients are broadly tilted towards India, Japan, and ASEAN. The highest conviction trade resides in fixed income, where almost all investors are positive on quality investment grade bonds. They look to lock in higher yields amid rate cut expectations. The investing climate this year will be complex, reflecting the dragon's auspicious yet bold spirit. Training your dragon may not be easy, but there are strategies that can potentially help you chart out a smoother ride. In today's markets, defensive assets with an income focus may serve investors well. Within fixed income, opportunities exist in investment-grade bonds. There are two strategies that we like. The first is a defensive, US-focused strategy that invests dynamically across government bonds and developed market investment-grade corporates. Its high-quality and longer-duration profile offers resilience while providing attractive, growing income. The second takes a global, unconstrained approach to deliver income and risk-adjusted long-term returns. We are seeking opportunities across the quality spectrum that offer defensive returns. Defensive assets that offer income can also be found in equities. Dividend-paying companies tend to operate in sectors less sensitive to economic cycles, have good pricing power, and consistently grow dividends. Investors can either allocate directly into a basket of dividend stocks, or one, with an additional layer of covered costs on individual stocks to further enhance income. China may not be off to a roaring start this year, but there are opportunities in Asia amidst uncertainty. For investors seeking regional exposure, we like dividend stocks for their defensiveness and quality growth stocks with sustainable characteristics that benefit from the increased focus on ESG. In China and Japan, we prefer strategies that invest in overlooked quality companies. This contrarian approach has historically proven to outperform broader markets over the longer term. 